Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Synthetic Dawn in our Cooperate or Die series. So we have reconquered a lot of territory from the Dar just now. That was um, embarrassingly straightforward, I have to say. Uh, it was just a, a lot quicker as a process than um, th than I thought it would be. So that's nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild uh, some of our research and mining stations in our core territory. We have several new colonies that have been queued up, so that's on the way as well. Yep, a few more. I'm trying to split the duties here between my various construction ships. I think I already gave the orders for Tiaka. I'm not, yeah, I did. All right, so there's going to be some conflicting. So there are going to be some conflicting construction orders there, but that's fine, and. What we're doing for the moment is we're going to give everyone a chance to rebuild. Um, by everyone, I mean me. But then we're probably going to hit the humans. The objective being to go ahead and remove them from my territory as well. Kragistron ZM has developed new skills. What's he got? He's just assisting research. So oh, I guess he's a, he's, he's a rocketry expert now. Good for him. Yeah, so the Dar got their butts handed to them by us. We didn't even fight them in battle, um, but we still have a number of battleships on the way. The only issue with that... Oh, hang on. That's right, Cranadeth is going to need some additional buildings, aren't they? Let's do a power plant. Actually, all of these are... I mean, a lot of these pops are going to need to be... Because this is a world that got cleansed. All right, the Yuyan 5 habitat is under construction, so we can put more energy... We can queue up more um, power plants there, and that can be another pseudo-Dyson Sphere. But speaking of, of Dyson Spheres, the, the Dyson Sphere frame is back under our control and, and was even before we fought against the Dar. Let's see, how are we doing over here? Making sure I've given all the orders over here. No, I haven't. There we go. All right, so that should be most of that area. I believe it, we have some... Yep, we have some colony ships on the way to recolonize Ectichi Prime and Ectichi Secundus. Once that's done, we'll have our core worlds back, most of them. His L still belongs to the humans. But we also have the ability to add additional core planets to our territory, which is nice. Yeah, Ectichi is being recolonized. Wonderful to see. This is our other colony ship on the way in. It needs to upgrade. It's still using old school jump drives. It looks like... Interesting. I'm seeing a machine world in Hizel. So... Our construction is complete. I wonder if they're, if they're clearing... Oh, that's just because I had a colony ship selected. Okay. So they control one of the worlds in Hizel, not both. Good to know. Good to know. Our fleet strength is at 340k. 77 battleships, 89 cruisers, 87 destroyers, and 228 corvettes, and more on the way. Mainly more battleships. Alright, so... I'm going to keep the game on maximum speed, but... Alright, good. Kurgaros has been reclaimed. Our construction is complete. Yep, let's renew the Unity deal. Santadar Prime is all well and good. Yeah, Kurgaros is... So we actually have Dar citizens now in our Empire too, which is really cool. I think we have queued Zothmok up for colonization. Let's take a quick look. There should be a colony ship on the way right. Somewhere? No, I guess not. Unless it's another blue colony ship, which it could very well be. Mm 
Mm, I don't know if there's a colony ship on the way to Zothmok or not. There should be. Hang on, maybe there's one being built in one of our core... No, I'm not seeing one there either. Okay, well, we'll take a look at that again in a second, but for now, again, we just want as many of my core worlds to rebuild as possible. Also, let me take a quick look through my starports again, because I was building these up a little bit more. Sure, give them service umbilicals instead. <laughs> or as I called them earlier in the series multiple times, service umbrellas. Don't ask me why. I don't have a good answer for you. You know what? Our construction is complete. Let's just do the service umbilicals there too. And here. Yes, I know the Our battle simulators have a maintenance complete. cost. I'm honestly not concerned about it. Technology conceived. Okay, what do we got? Energy weapon attack speed plus 5%. Excellent. So we can get an energy credit boost of 5% or an energy weapon damage boost. I think I just want to keep going for damage boost. So I want to get stronger and stronger and not have the humans pose any threat to me whatsoever. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and get our fleet in position. We're going to move to Seat of Hope. We also have the ability to move through the Malweir's territory again, so anytime we want. Oh yeah, I forgot. One of the problems with attacking the humans... Oh, I forgot about this. I was saying last episode we're going to attack the humans, but the issue is that there's a there's the Righteous Compact. So the Ultra Unity, the Grotten Plorn Assembly, and the Sildan Sacrosanct Union will all be against us. If we did that. Their fleet power is pathetic compared to ours. Let's see what they can throw at us. Yeah, because they're dealing with the contingency, so they don't have a lot. And then the Grot Plorin Assembly... Yeah, I don't know if that's really a threat, though. I really... I, I, I'm I, not seeing that those empires can really pose that much of a threat to me. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to attack the humans and try and annihilate their ships and take as much of their territory from them as I can, as quickly as I can. And try not to enjoy it too much. But I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to enjoy it. Um. All right, let's. Uh, okay, yeah, this is our new habitat. So first things first, get a spare parts depot going, followed by uplink node, and then our construction is complete. Perfect. Over 81 battleships again, and more on the way, as you can see. Four more in the system right now. Alright, Ektichi Prime has been reestablished as a colony. So we're going to have to rebuild this from the bottom up. Let's see, build pop. Spare parts depot there, uplink node there, and we'll come back and do more later on. So, Zathmak definitely, it appears, does not have a colony ship on the way to it. Oh, that's right, we, we didn't have enough influence to colonize it. That reminds me, or that I, I now remember. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah, the one around Akram Prime. Akram is pretty close. I'll land you right there. Recolonize Zathmak. And then it's just his L, which is a two-planet core system. And we have room for additional cores as well, like I mentioned last episode. Our construction is complete. Alright, 
So we are pretty much ready to go, I think. The main human fleet is just hanging out in Samnovic. And what I can do is move... I think if I were to jump from Kazabius... Let's get the transport fleet ready as well. If I were to jump from Kazabius... I could jump straight there and just hit them straight away. Now that's a really powerful fleet in addition to several very powerful stations surrounding their capital world. I don't know how we would do against it. The Titan is really the main thing that gives their fleet its power though. So... Hang on, let's wait for a few more ships to arrive. Because that's a lot of fleet power, but we have so many ships, I don't know about those single entities that have that much power having the ability to fight that many ships at once. And as long as they don't have the ability to fight that many ships at once, the fact that they're so powerful might not matter. We'll see might not could still matter but might not okay let's put a spare parts depot there followed by a uplink node or an un-uplink node done all right all right so that's zothmak being reclaimed. Looks like our fleets are ready to go. Yeah, as long as we can defeat the humans before anyone else really comes in and tries to cause any problems, I'm not particularly concerned about the war. And if we start some huge galactic war to end the series, hey, more fun for all of us, right? Especially after the miserable time that was episode 40 through, uh, well, I guess 43, 44, until things started to get a little better. No, the, the contingency has not been defeated yet. They're still here. Um, the Ultor Unity has not given us open borders. So let's see. Does the Grotten Plorn Assembly, are they open to us? Let's check really quickly. Yeah. I think we might be able to jump in and fight the contingency now before we fight the humans. Maybe that would be the best thing to do with our time right now and then turn around and attack the humans after that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we totally can. All right, so let's... Yeah, okay. Here's, here's how this is happening. We're going to jump here. to the Lethirian Vortex. I'm glad I noticed this. And let's finish off the contingency before we deal with the humans. I don't want to get too much of a vendetta. We'll definitely get the humans. We will. They control my core territory that's pissing me off. But we're doing better now that we're reclaiming so much territory in here. Things are genuinely looking up. Ships are on their way down. It's not even that many jumps. It's the beautiful thing about the jump drive is that once you have it, your ability to jump around the galaxy is just crazy good. Our construction is complete. Anything else need upgrading? Not just yet, probably. We're rebuilding so much at once, I just want to keep track. Interesting, the Malware just became more openly egalitarian. Hopefully that doesn't mean they're going to shut their borders to us right as I fly through here. It shouldn't. Okay. Fleet has arrived. Our 
construction. Contingency, I'm not saying you're not going to like this, but you're not going to like this. It's not going to be a pleasant experience for you, I don't think. We still have a bunch of ships flying through Mawir and Sildean and human territory to get to us. A bunch more reinforcement ships. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready. So let's uh, let's do this. Say goodbye to the contingency. Oh yeah, interestingly enough, I forgot. We can jump here and fight their 200k fleet. So that's exactly what we'll do. And go. We have arrived. Alright, so the 200k feet fleet is going to come fight us. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, any ships jumping in now will come in from this direction, so hang on. Let me take a quick look at... They're going to come in from up here. So what I'd like to do is actually, let's, as fast as we can, let's get the fleet up here before the battle starts. All right, well, we tried. Didn't get far. And actually, that was a terrible engagement angle. Now a lot of our bigger ships were out here, so we lost... Yeah. <laughs> they basically flanked us, but it's okay. We still have more ships on the way. Yeah, holy crap. Yeah, that's terrible what just happened. Well, I tried. Okay, so military station health plus 10%. We're still going to win it. It's fine. So... I think ship hull points plus 5% is probably the best thing to go with. And then an additional policy. Yes, please. Subject opinion increased by 20% or by 20 and trust cap increased by 50. Sure. We should start trying to have some subjects, maybe. Or maybe not. I love that their fleets are all destroyers and battleships. We just lost a ton of ships. All because of that one maneuver I attempted. Well, gonna have to queue up some more. We have plenty of influence though, so I should it shouldn't be an issue. And we definitely have enough to take on the last hub here, so we're good. Say goodnight, contingency. Your days are officially numbered. What an appropriate track to be playing while we annihilate the last of this menace. Almost done. Totally done. Here come the Dar. Now you show up. And the humans. Oh, I guess we should help. Yeah, you guys have been nothing but trouble for the entire series. It's okay, you can leave. We've got this. As a matter of fact, hang on. Let's go ahead and trade for minerals. Okay, that's that. And let's also pay a visit to our sectors. And we can queue up a bunch of battleships. Not just... Well, 
May as well do it now. Hang on. Before we destroy that thing. Let's take care of this. Alright, we are building cruisers there, which we will need more cruisers, but I think it's Kosk. Yep. Oh, we're still building some here. Nice. Alright, so... Done. That's well, the last time we'll lose that many battleships in one battle. Except maybe against the humans. We're about, uh... Thankfully, I, th I think... I don't know if this is all three of our fleets bombing the planet at once. I don't know if that's possible, but about halfway done with that. Now, what are you guys doing, and why are you not... Alright. Had a couple of ships randomly decide not to join the rest of the fleet, which is not appropriate. Oh, hello. They spawned a new fleet. Unfortunately, we were ready for him. Sucks to be you. Oh, sucks to suck. Okay, back to business. Oh, God. Ah, that's amazing. Um, Alright, I'm guessing... Everyone else is in orbit of it, so we're not. Our construction is complete. So yeah, I guess only one fleet can board it or bomb it from a time. So we're not going to get a chance to finish them ourselves because that last fleet pulled us out of orbit and now the AI is going to do it for us. Just one last slap in the face from these fallen empires. Our construction is complete. Never mind the fact that we're the ones that actually killed the 200k fleet. We're the ones that showed up. Yeah, right. Just, just some, just some imperfections to be ironed out. <laughs> just, just some, just some, just some things that can be tweaked. Small suggestions here and there. Let's go ahead and upgrade those for sure. Also, hang on. Uh, yeah, physics lab. And then a bio lab, and then an engineering facility. Titchy Prime. You do need a mine. Science lab. Santadar, you're good. Kurgaros, you're also good. Zathmak, you're not good. Let's do an uplink node there, followed by spare parts depot there, and let's uh, definitely queue up some pops on Zathmak, then unpause. There we go. So we can see this for the end of the episode. The end of the contingency. And maybe the humans will get back territory after all. We'll see how this goes once the once the war ends. <laughs> I 
Is this the Grotnaplorin? Yeah, it is. The Grotnaplorin's like, we're gonna help, guys! Our construction is complete. With the destruction of all four machine worlds, scientists have managed to deduce the origin- Oh, they're- Oh, we're not done! Managed to deduce the origin point of the ghost signal. It is coming from CX-9881, a previously uncharted star system on the galactic periphery. This has to be where all the synthetics that fell under the sway of the signal journeyed. The contingency will remain a threat until this final system has been dealt with. It must be neutralized. Hello. Okay, didn't see that coming. Um, oh, it's near my territory too. Holy crap, really? Seriously? All right. All right, fine. As you wish. All right, we gotta, we've got to let these guys be missing in action again. Critical error. Connection lost to all sterilization hubs. Attempting to reconnect. Stand by. Attention, please. The contingency protocol is still in effect. Despite recent setbacks, delays, impediments, do not approach CX-9881. Do not approach. We are reevaluating our strategic options. Any attempts to disrupt this process will result in immediate mass sterilization of the offending units. Their end approaches. Yeah. The contingency knows they're screwed. All right, so when are you reappearing? In August of next... All right, I'm going to stop this one here and maybe go off camera and scream for a second. But uh, yeah, in in nine months, we'll have control of our ships again. And, and then we'll, we'll, we're going to jump the, the contingency's final system here and um, then see where we go from there. But that should all be in the next episode. It should be pretty interesting times. Uh, these guys, yeah, the Ultra Unity kicked us out because we they retook control of Bintu, as is their right. It's their system, whatever. So... Yeah, and we'll have to see what happens when we take on the human mediators in the next uh, episode, but that's after we build a bunch more battleships, because we lost a bunch of battleships, and more cruisers, and, well, more of everything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.